In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a tied double heart out of a dollar bill. So the first thing we do is we take a dollar bill and fold it in half. Now I'm going to use the back side of this for demonstration so that you can see uh, better without the design. However, you can use either side of your dollar bill. It doesn't matter. So first, we're going to take the bill and we're going to fold it in half. Like that. Now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to take this corner and we're going to fold it to this edge to give us a 45 degree crease here. So we're going to take the corner that is the folded edge here and fold it to the edge here. And go ahead and fold that the other direction along the same line because we're going to need to fold it uh, both ways in the finished model. And do the same thing with the other side. We're going to take the corner that is folded and we're going to fold that to the edge creating a 45 degree crease and we're going to turn that over and just fold the opposite direction on the same crease like that. We're going to open up the bill and we're going to fold the corner to the center line just like we're going to just like if you were making an airplane. And we're going to do that for all of the corners. like that. Just open that all up. The creases on your bill should now look something like this. Okay, from here what we're going to do is we're going to take this edge here and we're going to fold it up until it meets these points right here. So we're going to put a crease right along the center, but we're only going to crease it on this side and this side. So how we're going to do that is we're going to fold this up to those points but we're only going to crease here to where these points meet. Now you have a little bit of a crease in the center that's okay we only need the hard crease from here to here, from here to here. Again, you fold this point up to this point, making hard creases only on those sides. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Taking this point, putting it up to where these points meet. And again, only creasing between this point and the edge. Again, you'll have a little bit of a bend here, but what you really need is this crease here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this edge and we're gonna fold it to the center. Like that. Turn it over and fold this edge to the center as well. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to use these creases that we've just made to collapse this part into the beginning of the heart shape. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use the creases that we made here, we, may, we have a crease that's here, we have a crease that is here, 
we have a crease that is here and we have a crease that is here. All right, now there's a crease that is here that we aren't, aren't going to use, but we're gonna use this crease here and the crease that is here. You'll see how it collapses like that. Okay, again, it will open up on this crease like that. And so this is what we have. Again, I'll show you that on the other side using the creases that we've already made. If you just open this up and flatten this down, pull this open, and flatten it down, we will have the beginnings of the heart shapes. Now from here, we're just going to fold the entire model in half. Turn it over. Now this will make sure that you want to make sure that you have the open side. That's the way that you fold it so that all the open sides are up like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up this heart shape. The way we're going to do that is we're just going to open this up and using creases that we already made, the heart shape will start to form. It looks more like a shield at this point. Now there is a, two more creases that you will need to put in. So you'll see as we open this up, it sort of makes this triangle. What we want to do is you want to push this together and you can go ahead and fold it to either side in order to make that shield heart shape come out. So again, we have this part right here and we're going where the folded edges are. We're pushing it on creases, these diagonal creases we've already made and then we're going to form new creases by pushing this in like this. And go ahead and make those creases sharp like that. So now what we'll have is sort of a, a dumbbell shape. Okay, now it doesn't matter which side you push these on. You can be this side, this side, it, it doesn't matter at all. But what you want to do is you want to put, put it down so that the heart shapes, the shield shapes, are down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take just the first layer. We're only taking the first layer here and we're folding it in half down to here. Now when we get to these edges, we're going to squash them to make a little triangle fold. And it's important when you're making this, when you're folding this down, that you continue this crease all the way across. It's going to want to come down here. You can't let it do that. So it helps if you push your thumb here to make sure that this crease goes all the way to the end, like that. So you have this center crease. Make sure it goes all the way to the end. And then you can push this down to make a nice triangle fold. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. See how we're folding this down. And you can see how this is wanting to fold down this way. We don't want to let it do that. So I'm going to push here so that this can fold into the nice triangle like that. Now, once we've done that, we're going to take these heart shield shapes and we're going to flip them over to the other side. Like this, I'm going to flip this over to the other side. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing we just did. We're going to fold this, only the, only the very top layer, only the very top layer, and we're going to fold that in half.
And again, you have to be careful because this is going to want to cheat on you and it's not and it's going to want to follow all the way down to the point. So you're going to have to hold hold it down here so that you can make that a straight fold. And you can make that. And again, I'll show you one more time on this side. You're folding this and now as you can see this is trying to cheat and come down to the corner. I don't want to let it do that. So I'm going to push here to make sure that it folds straight and then I can make a nice squash triangle fold there. Okay. Now once I've done that, I can go ahead and take this piece here, this center piece, and fold that down. Like that. Okay, so what I just did there is I just took the center piece that was up like this and I just folded it down in half to form the center bar. And so you can see we pretty much have the two hearts with the center bar. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do at this point. You can make some interesting folds in it like this. Um, what I've done for this one is I've tied a knot in it before I finished the final heart shapes. And there's no graceful way of doing this really. Um, you just sort of make these hearts small and compact and uh, like I said there's no graceful way of doing this you just tie an overhead knot and you just shove things through things get a little crunchy messy which is why I wait till I've finished the knot before I actually finish the heart shape you can see it gets all mangled then you sort of pretty up the heart uh, this one got really mangled pretty up pretty up the heart and then to finish the heart shape you turn it over and each one of these corners we fold down at a 45 degree to give us a nice point so this is the way it starts out and we fold this back to give us the point and then all we do is we fold the, these points down like that. So it will start off with a point like that and will end up flat like that. So it just folds back in half like that to give us the final heart shape. So again, I will show you again on this side. This is where we start off with, and then we fold this back at 45 degree, it gives us the point, and then we're just going to fold this in half, fold this point down to here, like this, finishes at the top. One more time, fold that to give us the point and then fold that down to give us the heart and that's it basically now all you have to do is twist it until it makes sense there is a tied heart this is what it looks like with a normal dollar bill